Hey there, so today's episode is all about being your authentic self and consistency in branding. I'm going to share a personal experience that just happened to me recently that really magnified this and I'm super excited to share it with you and we're gonna hop into it right now. Mariah Curley here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your very first time here. I am an active real estate agent and coach and this channel is literally everything you need to know about how to build and scale your business the modern way by leveraging the power of social media. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below. Make sure you tap that bell for notifications so you are notified every week I drop a new video. I hear from real estate agents like you all the time who are looking to build and scale their business the modern way and I absolutely love it. So if that is you, feel free to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email and would love to chat and see how I can help you out in your business. Also, this channel is all for you. So if there are topics you want me to cover, things that you want me to you know, shoot videos on, please feel free to reach out, share with me what the, you know, what topics you want me to cover. And I would love to shoot a video on that. So like I said, today's episode is literally all about consistency and in branding and really truly being your authentic self. So recently I had an experience. I, my family and I, we had gone on a trip. We had, were coming back through the Salt Lake City Airport. If you know anything about the Salt Lake City Airport, I'm telling you, if you were in Terminal B, like get your running shoes on, get your walking shoes on because it is a trek to get out to, you know, baggage claim and ground transportation and all of that. So my family and I, we had gone on a trip, we were at Terminal B. And so, you know, we had our 15 minute walk, which is totally great. I am happy to get more steps in. I'm happy to close my rings, especially on a travel day. I, on this particular day, we had our, you know, we have our four kids, my husband and I were walking through the airport. I've got my hair in a top knot. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I'm in some like cozy pants. It's just, you know, travel day, right? So as I'm walking through the airport, we're probably five minutes into, into our walk over to ground transportation where we're gonna go get our car. And as I'm walking, there is a mom in front of me and she's got two kids behind her. The mom literally like super mom, like she's got, you know, backpacks on, she's wheeling suitcases, like literally like just had stuff piled high. And they, you know, prob she probably had a four year old son. I would say he's probably about four. And he's just, he was done. You know, it's 8.30 at night, it's bedtime. And he's just like, mommy, I'm all done. I'm all done. I'm, you know, and he's just crying. And, and he's just, he's telling her like, I, you know, I want to go to bed. I'm tired. I'm, I'm hold me, hold me, hold me. Right. And then you've got the daughter who's a few years older than he is. And, you know, she's just kind of, you know, she's pushing her suitcase and you could tell she was such a trooper and just trying to, trying to power through too. And all of a sudden, some of you guys know that I have been a teacher for many years, not only, you know, teacher, coach, real estate agent, but my teacher hat, I had taught preschool, kindergarten, first grade, second, right? I've taught a lot of different grades and all of a sudden, like not only did mom mode kind of kick in, but also the teacher hat kind of kicked in and this cute little family, you know, they're right in front of us. And all of a sudden I, you know, I strike up a conversation with the son and I just said, Hey, you are doing such a good job. You are almost there. And this is a super long walk, isn't it? And he looks at me like, Oh my gosh, who are you? Right. And I smile and I was like, seriously, you are doing an amazing job. And my kids were like right next to me too. And so as he's, I, as I was walking, I'm like, my kids are tired too. Don't tell anybody though. And he kind of like starts smiling and laughing and and it was during, you know, during some holiday times. And I, so I read, I looked over to him and I said, did you go anywhere fun? You know, did, and then all of a sudden it was like, yes, I did. And then he starts telling me about how he saw his cousins and aunts and uncles and da, 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 da. And he just like kept going and was just talking. And, and then the sister starts sharing experiences too. And so she starts talking. And so before we know it, like we're talking, he's no longer asking his mom if, you know, he can be held and he's not crying anymore. And it just, it was fine. Right. So we go probably another like five minutes and I'm just talking with kids and stuff and mom's running through the airport as fast as she can. So uh, by that time we got really close to where we needed to be. And at this point I kind of like sped up a little bit and I reached out to the mom and I was like, you are doing such a good job. I go, I can't believe you are carrying all these bags. And you know, meanwhile, we're carrying our bags too. And 
She's like, yeah, and I go, it sounds like you had a fabulous trip though I heard about cousins and aunts and uncles, da, 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 like all these different things. And then all of a sudden she like looks like, she kind of like does like a double take and she looks at me and she goes, I know you. And I look at her and I smile and I said, to help me, like help me out. Like, and of course, like my wheels are turning, like how do we know each other? How do we know? Like I'm thinking, I don't think I know these kids. I don't think I know her, but like, and I go, forgive me, like, how do we know each other? Like, let's place, let's place this together. And she looks at me, she goes, I know you from social media. And I said, you're kidding, really? She goes, I've been following you on Instagram for years now, and I, I feel like I know you. And I said, oh my gosh, that's so nice of you to say. And she goes, and you know what is even like more like mind boggling about this whole experience? And she's like, you're the same on, in, like on social media as you are in real life, you know, cause we started having this conversation and she goes, you look exactly like you look on social media. And I'm thinking to myself, well, everything that I'm doing on, like, it's not a picture of me from 20 years ago. It's not me like, you know, 10 years ago. It is me in real life, real time right now. And it really like, and I just started thinking, I'm like, yeah, you know, um, and she goes, and you have four kids, don't you? And I said, I do. And she goes, and two of them are twins, huh? And I said, I do. And so as we like got to the end of our conversation and as we kind of got to the end of the airport, we're just walking and talking and, and all that. She's like, I can't tell you how nice it is to be able to meet somebody that I watch, I follow, I whatever. And you are the same. It seems like she's like, I feel like you're the same on there as you are in real life. And I said, honestly, like that's the biggest compliment ever because that is like truly that is the goal. Like the goal is to show up here in one space and to have that consistent to, you know, to parallel your life. And so it really just got me thinking about how important this is for your business branding wherever you are. You never know, you might be walking through the Salt Lake City Airport and you might come across one of your followers that you had no idea, right? You might be at a soccer field. You might be showing up at a party. Like wherever you are, you never know the lives that you'll touch. You'll never know until something like that happens. And my husband was a little bit farther back with one of our other kids. And so after I was sharing him, you know, I was, he goes, oh, how did, how did you know her? And I said, actually, I did it. And then I recap kind of the story. He goes, you're kidding me. Really? And I said, yeah. And he's like, that's actually really cool. And so again, kind of coming back to being your authentic self. And sometimes when I'm coaching agents on this, they say, well, Mariah, I don't know, like, I don't know my, I don't know who really I am. Here is an exercise for you to try and to do. Take out a piece of paper or, you know, type this up on a Google doc, make it really easy. Write down as many things as you can think of, of either, uh, you know, things that you've gone through, challenges, trials, successes, whatever things that make you you. Write down hobbies, write down things that interest you, write down places you've traveled, places you've lived, right? So once you start crafting this list, you're going to start seeing things that are going to pop out on this list of things where you're like, oh, you know what? that actually really resonates with me. Oh, that one really resonates with me. And you're going to start taking those, those experiences and you're going to start crafting your story. Everybody has a story. I remember in the beginning when I started, you know, started my business and I remember thinking like, there's nothing exciting or interesting about me. Like I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I've got four kids. Like, I, like I just thought in my mind, like there's nothing really that makes me super unique or special, but that's the crazy thing. And that's the amazing thing is everybody's story. You are going to connect with other people that might have similar experiences that might have similar interests. And recently this happened to, I was, you know, I gave a, a class recently and in this workshop that I was giving, I, after the class, I had somebody reach out and they were like, Mariah, I swear we are living like parallel lives. Like everything you're sharing is like mirroring my life. And so 
you are going to start attracting, when you start being your authentic self, you are going to start attracting other people, clients, friendships, that those, you know, that resonates with them. And the more of those that you are able to form in your business, the more business you are really going to start to have, the more friendships you're going to start having, the more doors you're going to start having opening to you by truly just being you and being your authentic self. So once you have that list written down, just start picking out things of ways that you want to craft your story, ways that you want to build on this. Like I had said before, I was a teacher for a bunch of years and I remember that got in the way, like I felt like that got in the weeds of like, well, how can I be a teacher and how can I sell, re like how can I go from one career to the next? You can do it. And in fact, a lot of your previous experience, a lot of your experiences from before are going to transfer over and are going to lend itself really nice and are going to help you connect with other people. So I remember thinking like, oh, I can't tell anybody that I was a teacher. Are you kidding? Like, of course I'm gonna tell people that before because that helps in the space that I'm in right now because I coach, I, you know, I do all these different things in my business, not only sell luxury real estate, but I also am able to coach, you know, real estate agents and whatnot too. So figure out what, you know, figure out the authentic you, craft that story. Once you craft that story, then you start sharing it. That is the beautiful part about social media is you start sharing that story, your authentic, you know, your authentic self. And what's going to happen when you consistently show up that consistent branding time over time or, you know, week after month after year, you know, all of those different things, what's going to happen is it's, it's kind of like that compounding effect where you show up today and then you show up tomorrow and then the next day and then the next day. And then before you know it, there, you're going to have like your wagons are going to be hitched because somebody's going to start following you and then they see that they are following you. So then they fall. Right. And so all of a sudden you just have this incredible network. You have this incredible following. You have, you know, this incredible tribe and group that you are part of. If you are able to one stay, you know, be your authentic self and then two, stay consistent with your branding. If you need help with this, I coach and train agents on this all the time. The group that I'm part of, we talk about this nonstop in our you know weekly masterminds and everything. If this is of interest to you, feel free, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, let's chat and see how we can craft your story. Let's see how we can help your branding and really help your business take off. So again, stay consistent and be authentically you and consistently brand yourself, show up the same place as you would in the airport, as you will on social media. And I'm telling you, you will have experiences like this too. And your husband will look at you and go, what, are, are you kidding me? And you'll say, yep, it is all part of it because I'm being my authentic self and I am being true to my consistent branding. Wishing you a fabulous day. And again, if I can help you in any way, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Let's chat and see how we can build your business the modern way by leveraging the power of social media. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.